welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a live reaction to Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest Chapter 5. But before I get into that, if you enjoy manga and anime uploads, please at least consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell down below. Um, as you may know, YouTube requires you to do funky stuff to even be notified of my next upload, so the notification bell is a quick and easy tool for you to use to know when I upload another video. Um, I do have a wide variety of things on my channel, like these things. Um, so please consider subscribing if you're a fan of anime and manga in general, and who knows, you might fall in love with another anime just by watching some of my other videos about them. And with that comes the poll that's in the top right hand corner where you guys get to rate Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest Chapter 5 anywhere from a 5 star all the way down to a 1 star. And it's just a fun way for you guys to see what you guys thought and a fun way for me to see what you guys thought as well. In my last video, 42% of you thought it was 5 stars, 28% thought it was 4 stars, 14% thought it was 3 stars, and actually 14% thought it was a 1 star. And um, that was a checkerboard of different views and opinions and um, I'm hoping that these chapters that are coming out are going to be a little bit better because I can completely understand the low ratings on the last one. Um, but let's just hope that this one's a little bit better and with that let's just get into the video. If you saw my other 100 year quest video you know that my phone screen is in fact shattered. Um, I am getting used to it so it shouldn't be too big of a deal but if I am struggling to read a couple things I just ask that you're a little bit patient with me because it is kind of hard. But anyways, we start off the chapter with Lucy looking pretty beat. Uh, she looks like she's working on maybe another book or a little story, and Plue's obviously worried because she worked herself to sleep. And we start off exactly where we left off last chapter with Toka and the tail. And um, let me just point out that I love seeing Gajiel and Juvia like back together because we know that they came from the same guild into Fairy Tale, and it's fun seeing them just kind of together because Juvia is always by herself and uh, Juvia is one of my favorite characters and it's kind of irritating to always see her by herself with nobody so this is a good change. A tail? Whatever do you mean a tail? And it's gone. I don't know how people still don't think she's suspicious like whether she's a good character or not like she, something's iffy about her. Do you all have some greeting that goes tail? You are called fairy tale after all. No, we don't. It actually is pretty cute. Tail. Mm, no, it's not. Sister? Mary Jane and Lazana seem to be getting along with her really well, but... Mm. Juvia just saw something that looked very much like a tail. Yeah, I saw it too. You sure you're just not imagining things? That's it. She's officially suspicious. Oh. Mage Guild Sabretooth. Today, too, my little sister's the cutest little sister in the world. And you're as pretty as always, sister. I'm glad that we're seeing Angel back with her sister. Apparently, maybe she's forgiven herself, or... Looks like you fit right in, Solano. I'm glad. You bet this is the best guild ever. Oh, cool, she joined the guild. After all, my adorable little sister brightens it up. That's enough. Wait, wait. Is that... Jalal? Jalal, when did you arrive? Long time no see, guys. Checking up on Solano, she's doing great. A bit noisy, but no other problems. I am not noisy. <laughs> Fro thinks you are too. I think we get a little bit of a different character design for Sting and Rogue. They don't look exactly the same, but we get the we get the gist. I was just passing through the area, so I thought I'd drop in. Just passing by, that's cool. <laughs> Told you she was noisy. Did you have some business in the city? Yes, I'm searching for a certain someone. Will help, Fro will too. I'd appreciate that. If you see this person, contact me. Who is this? I can't say right now. But there was a bit of an incident and even their whereabouts would be enough. I wonder, I wonder if we've already been introduced to the character. But there was a bit of- oh wait, I already heard that. My, my, interested in some- someone other than Urza, are we? No, uh, Urza has nothing to do with us. When are they gonna get together? Okay, I know the ships are not everything. I know that. But their relationship has been a part of the story since the very beginning. And even if you think that the ships are like a toxic part of fairy tale, this has been established since the very beginning. And that's an undeniable fact that Urza and Jalal love each other 
So I'm just curious to see when that's gonna happen because Urza, if anybody, I believe deserves like happiness because she's been through so much crap that if anything she's the one that deserves to at least have her little fairy tale ending, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Kinda cute, but to be honest, what is this person's name? She calls herself Toka, her real name is unknown. Hmm, it's almost like I had been saying something from the very beginning. It's almost like I had told you all that something was wrong with her from the very beginning. From the very beginning. But you know what? I digress. It's whatever. Hmm. Toka, hmm. Let me make thing one thing very clear. If you find her, do not interact with her under any circumstances. Elmina. I'm wondering that if you, the more you interact with her, like, maybe she gets more control with you? Like, why is it so important that you don't interact with her? And she is interacting a lot with, um, Mira Jane, which could be very deadly because if that is the case that she can like manipulate them. Mary Jane is one of the strongest mages of fairy tale, so that'd be very devastating to see. Where even are we? Beats me, we're like running we're running like mad. Oh, we're back to them and are they under the ocean still or I guess so. I can't believe fish ended up chasing me. It's probably payback for all the fish you've eaten up until now. The moment we brought up the water god, their attitude changed. I guess they really do worship him. But weren't we told that they once worshipped him? But we- weren't we told that they once worshipped him, okay? Nice bathing suit, Lucy. <laughs> the scarf. Does this mean that the religion of the water god continues even now? What? Give me back my scarf. I can't help it, okay? They took my top. Just change into one of your spirit outfits. Oh yeah, wait, what are you pulling this off for? <laughs> Felt like it. There's something else bothering me too. They're just like the humans from the other day, enemies of the water god. Oh yeah, I was wondering what that meant too, like who else went there? It seems like there have been other, humans vi hu other human visitors here too, but where'd they go? What if the fishes ate them? Don't say scary stuff like that. Hmm, what should we do? I say roast them all. We can't do that. Those fish are probably just following their religion, what their religion tells them. They didn't really seem particularly evil or anything. Even the one who took your top? No, that one's definitely evil. If I find it, I'm going to write pervert on its forehead. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but I feel like this Lucy from this particular series itself is like a lot more goofy than the Lucy from the last manga because at the end of fairy tale she was like this well-developed stronger emotionally stronger everything character and now she seems a lot more like goofy if that makes sense I don't know maybe it's just me let me know what you guys think I admit they didn't seem evil I mean they wouldn't have given us the potion for underwater breathing if they were but we're here to defeat the water god dragon whether these guys like it or not that's our job Wendy that's just the thing. Do you remember exactly what Elf of, Elf of Sirius told us? Here's what he said. Seal the five dragons. So defeat him, right? No, seal. Which can mean many things. Exterminating them, neutralizing them, literally sealing them with a seal, and even imprisoning them could all be considered sealing them. What do you mean? Basically, we weren't told the specifics of the sealing, we were asked to perform. For example, let's say the water god is rampaging is a rampa rampaging angry god. If we convinced him to quiet his anger and calm down, that'd technically be sealing him, no? So there might be a peaceful way to resolve all of this. It's quite possible. <laughs> Natsu really just wants to kick some dragon ass. Stop looking so obviously put out. You of all people should know that not all dragons are evil. I was about to say, like, why is he so, like, hell-bent on killing, like, defeating these dragons if he at one point loved dragons? We fight not to defeat them, but to survive them. 
Hmm. Fine, I get it. Once we figure out what exactly each of these dragons are, I won't hurt them. But if they so much as put a scratch on any of my friends, I swear, I'll slay them all. Hmm. Now that that's decided, let's go get some questions answered. Is the water god- is the water dragon friend or foe? What is this city? And who and where are the humans that came here before us? Guess we gotta go back to the city and clear the air with the fishes. That's if they decide to listen to us. I don't wanna. Wait, I've got an idea. My dear Samiko, it's not like that. There were some humans here in the wa after the water god. I don't care. First of all, I don't like that you still do business with humans. But there are good ones out there too. So obviously they're not evil because he's seeing that there is good and evil in humans as well. If you like humans that much, go date one of them then. Samiko. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, that guy's not all bad. And we're not all fish. What the I guess we are. This is wonderful. Is this Gemini's power? They'll never find out. I, I wonder. First, a fish becomes a person. Then we all get chased by fishes. And now I've become a fish myself. Gemini's specific specialty is actually transformation magic. They're especially good at copying, but they said changing into small animals like this is pretty easy. If you're going to go this far, at least it, get it right. We look like reverse mermaids. I agree, yeah, they do. Why am I the only jellyfish? I'm sorry, I ran out of magic power halfway through and... and I don't remember anything about Gemini being able to do this, but I guess at a certain point, they get new abilities because her magic power is so above and beyond what it used to be. I guess that makes sense. This is all prob- This is probably all because I sent those jellyfishes flying. This appearance will ensure that no one finds out what we are. Let's split up and gather intel. Are you sure they won't catch us? Intel, huh? You, over there. Manager? Have they found the humans that escaped yet? He didn't suspect a thing. Uh, don't know. We'll get to looking. You were just on a date, dude. But by the way, what happened to those humans we found the other day? That's obvious. Hmm. What's the matter, Natsu? I smell humans. Hmm? This way, wait. A cell? Did you forget that we captured one? She will be sacrificed to the Lord Water God. A woman? Who is she? That crest on her shoulder, what guild is that? Hmm. Who is that? Why are they here? Alright. It looks like she's gonna be a really cool looking character. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, in my opinion, this chapter was milestones better than chapter four. Um, in the last chapter, it seems like there was too much goofiness to the point where we kind of strayed off from the actual storyline. Because in chapter three, remember, we leave off with seeing the water god. And after that, like, you get this hype and you're like, oh man, what's gonna happen? And then we get a chapter where they're playing with fish, and he is mentioned, don't get me wrong, but it kind of felt too goofy to the point where it just kind of threw me off. Um, but this chapter had, like, the right amount of goofiness with the right amount of seriousness to intrigue me. Um, so I'm gonna give this chapter a 4.5. It still wasn't perfect, but, um, it was pretty good. Uh, much better than the last one, and I can hope- I can only hope that they continue to produce like good, goofy, but serious chapters like this with good explanations, good background. I do like that we're getting to see a little bit more of what's, like, why is Toka, you know? Um, I said in my last video, like, what is she? Why is she? Um, 
the fact that she gets her guild mark there, her water type magic, the tail, like everything's so suspicious and I'm glad that we get to see Jalal of all people um, investigating her. I just love Jalal and I hope that Jalal and Urza get a moment. Whether you like the ships or not, they deserve it. Um, it's been 500 and something chapters of them being torn apart so it's time that they come together. And basically that's it. Don't forget to um, participate in the poll up here and please consider subscribing if you like manga and anime uploads. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!